Hi, this is Colin Francis again, Assistant Football Athletic Trainer at Indiana University. I'm here at Heps Rock to show you guys a little bit more of the Sports Science Department here. Earlier, I showed you the Zephyr Bio Harness and how that worked. Today, we're going to go over the GPS unit that goes with it. In order to turn it on, flip the switch up to the top, have the athlete turn around, slide it back in the pocket here. It fits nice and tight. The shoulder pads go on over top. When JD has his units on, it pings with the satellite to show us how far he ran and how fast he ran. We can also pull it up later to see the exact path that he ran. Here's the GPS unit that we use for our student athletes. It's pretty simple. We hit the switch on there and this main indicator light shows that the satellites are reading with the unit. When the satellites are reading and it's all connected, we're able to pull up the exact path the athlete ran. We were fortunate enough to have one of these units on our linebacker, Marcus Oliver, during the Florida International game two years ago. If you remember how the game ended, it was a huge sack by Marcus and an interception touchdown from Jamil Cook. Has the interception and he's going to go the entire way. The Hoosiers pick it off. It's the freshman Jameel Cook. Pressure. Here you can see he starts on the sideline, comes out to the play. As the play develops, you can see the exact path Marcus moved. When we get down to the final play, he starts here in the end zone, runs up right there on the 20, sacks the quarterback, runs down to celebrate the pick six with Jameel. This GPS information can be very useful to monitor the student athletes and the workload they have throughout the week, limiting them when needed. Now we've been over the Zephyr bio harness and the GPS stuff that we do here. Stay tuned for more from Sports Science here at IU.